Fuck you, plane. I've been wanting to do kind of a frequently asked questions type video since I released my leaving source fed vlog a couple weeks ago. Um, I've been getting kind of the same questions and I wanted to be able to address them all in the same video. So the first question a lot of people asked was why are you leaving source fed? When I decided to start talking to Phil about moving on from SourceFed um, last year, I had started doing my personal channel a little bit more, and I just felt like I wanted to move that direction in my career. I wanted to move on to different things, and I was getting a lot of hosting work outside of SourceFed, and I wanted to be able to focus on my personal channel and to be able to pursue those outside hosting jobs. Um, I just, you know, in a career in entertainment and in hosting in particular, you're always moving and changing and evolving, and I'll always appreciate my time at SourceFed, like I said in the Leaving SourceFed video, but, um, you know, I just felt like it was time to move on, and so um, we started having those discussions a long time ago. It was months and months and months ago. It wasn't something I woke up and was just like, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to leave, um, but it was something we kind of planned and talked about for a while, and, and I just felt like that was the direction I was moving in, so um, I just thought it was time to move on. Are you really giving up your career for a dude? Oh my god, I bet it's Gavin's fault. Mm. So let me just be clear and start this one off by saying no, it's not Gavin's fault whatsoever. Phil and I actually started talking about my departure from SourceFed before Gavin and I were even a serious couple, so not his fault. Um, furthermore, I would add that yes, he's adorable and I like him a lot, but I make career decisions for me because it's my career. and. If you make decisions in your career for other people, I, it just it doesn't it's not a recipe for happiness. It's a recipe for disaster and potential resentment and weirdness. So I make my career decisions for me that sound selfish, and it is. You know what? I'm just gonna embrace it. It is selfish. My career is something I've worked very, very hard on, and I, you know I make those decisions with that in mind. Like what is gonna make me the happiest, and that's how I make my career decisions. So what are you doing next? So the reason I haven't announced what I'm doing yet is because I genuinely haven't decided yet. Um, when I decide what I'm doing next, I promise I'll make a video, I'll tweet about it. You guys know I talk about everything in my life way too much, so I would not be able to keep a huge career decision under wraps like this. Um, I will definitely tell you guys once I decide. I genuinely haven't made the decision yet. Calling it right now, Meg's gonna get a job at Rooster Teeth because she's fucking Gavin. So this is one that I've gotten a ton since I announced that I was leaving SourceFed, and I get it. Um, it was a little bit frustrating, but I, I haven't really shared my history with Rooster Teeth with uh, you guys in a video or, or really tweeted about it or anything, so it's not fair for me to be frustrated until I share it with you guys. So um, about a year ago, Bernie actually contacted me and asked if I would be interested in auditioning to host Immersion Season 2. Sounded super cool, I was totally on board. Um, he sent me an email with a sample episode to kind of get the idea of what the show was. Um, it was the episode in which Gavin and Michael have to drink milk while being driven around in a car and also trying to drive a car in game. There was a lot of vomiting, if you're gonna watch the video. Warning, there's a lot of vomiting. But um, I, I laughed my ass off and, and I thought Gavin was really cute. I'd never seen a Slow Mo Guys video or an Achievement Hunter video before, so it was my first introduction to him. And I, you know, I just thought he was cute. Um, anyway, so then I auditioned for Immersion. Everything was great, we we're ready to host it, ready to go. And then there was a big delay in production. And during that big delay in production, which was many months, um, I got together with Gavin. So when it came time to actually shoot Immersion, there was kind of this concern like, well, we know that you met Gavin because of the show, but are people going to think you got the show because you're dating Gavin? Um, and then it actually turned out that I was shooting another show for another company that hasn't been announced yet, which I think will be announced soon. Um, but anyway, it was happening the same kind of weekend that they were starting production and I wasn't able to shoot Immersion, so we didn't really have to jump off that bridge. But once I announced I was leaving SourceFed and people started speculating, I just felt like it was worth sharing that, you know, if I ever do work with Rooster Teeth in the future, I have Gavin because I got a job at Rooster Teeth initially, not the other way around. And, uh, you know, I just, I hope you guys can understand, like, how frustrating that is. Like, I've worked really hard in my career, and I hope that my resume speaks for itself, regardless of who I work with or what I do. You know, I always feel like... It's just frustrating to think that like somebody, that people think like somebody got you that job. Like when you've worked really, really hard at something and, and you did it, you know, on your own. Um, it just kind of feels like, like, no, I can, I can do it. I got it. Like,
like, what was that character on Mad TV? Stuart? I, that's why I, I let me do it. That's how I feel. That was a terrible Stuart impression. <laughs> I haven't seen it in like forever. Don't hold me to that standard whatever. I don't know. But that's the story. And so I hope you guys keep that in mind. If I ever do work with Rooster Teeth in the future that, you know, I worked really hard to work with people that I do and, and it's not because I'm ever dating someone. So I think that's it for the frequently asked questions you guys have been asking about my departure at SourceFed. I was going to do an Ask Meg kind of like bunched in this, but I think it's already running a little long. I have no idea because I can't see any sort of time anywhere. It's not on my screen that I'm looking at, but I'm assuming it's running a little bit long. But since I'm going to have so much free time the next few weeks, I'm going to do another Ask Meg next week. And actually, I think I'm going to try and do three videos next week. What? Um, I'm gonna try and do it. I don't know why I'm dancing about it. I, um, <laughs> you know what, to be perfectly honest, you can't see, I can't even if I stand on my tiptoes. I'm wearing these shorts that are really comfortable, they're like lace, and they make me want to dance. So that's what I'm doing with my life. So I'll see you guys next week for another Ask Meg. Don't forget you can submit your hashtag questions, hashtag Ask Meg. You can ask questions about hashtags, I guess. I said that backwards. Whatever. You can submit your questions using the hashtag AskMeg. I'll answer those questions. It'll actually happen because I feel like Ask Megs have been cursed lately. They've just been getting taken over by all sorts of crazy stuff. I've been doing a lot of arm movements this video. Keeping that in. Whatever. <laughs> That's it, you guys. I will see you next week. And, you know, I hurt you.